What is going on everybody? I hope everyone's having a good day um, here in Denver. It's the end of the day, but that's right guys. We're about one year and six months post-surgery. I wanted to give you guys an update since I haven't really been uploading on the channel and I don't want you guys to think like, oh man, this guy probably destroyed his back all over again but no on, on the contrary guys it has been an interesting experience and I just want to give like a little bit full story from what I've had over the year and a half so this is where I'm at right now guys I'm actually preparing for a bodybuilding show it won't be till March 9th so as soon as the actual actual prep starts I'm gonna be uploading more uh, context within that field but you know, after my surgery, I never thought I would be able to do this. And my, I always used to love bodybuilding and fitness in general. Obviously, I, as you guys go through my older videos, I play D2 soccer. And I've absolutely loved it, guys. The like whole fitness journey. Um, really, what really got me engaged was like uh, following Christian Guzman. I don't know if you guys know who that is. But that's really what inspired me to get into fitness and obviously that led into bodybuilding. And I was actually thinking about doing a bodybuilding show. I know I didn't have a size or anything like that. But um, I was inspired to do one but then the spine injury happened where my L5 uh, S1 disc got injured and it just went downhill from there. And I remember I was in a very depressed state when all that happened which was... I want to say two years ago almost and so obviously the clouds clouded my vision for everything that was going on all I wanted to do was walk and sit obviously the thing that hurt me the most was sitting it really compressed my nerve and it really was just a shame guys um, here I'll upload a, a photo right here so you guys can see like how my MRI was looking as you guys can see it was 11 millimeters which is a pretty big herniation if you ask me but as of right now guys I am putting on size to compete I'm gonna do men's physique but I'm really excited just to do that portion of fitness because as I was saying, I was super scared back then that I just wasn't going to be able to do fitness again in my life. And I'm just really blessed. I've been obviously taking care of my body and uh, doing movements that don't cause further harm. And that's actually what I want to speak about in this video, guys. And tell you guys the things that have aggravated my nerve, like back pain and all that stuff sort of stuff so just kind of recap of the first uh, maybe three four months my back hurted a little bit a lot of scar tissue within my nerves so it's the scariest part of the whole journey just because you don't know what's going on inside your body it's healing and still up to the next i want to say eight months i was having some pain in and there i was very scared that you know the surgery was not successful but what i quickly noticed it's a lot of nerves take a long time to heal guys and just by poking it the nerve you know you're gonna get that sciatic pain which was the breaking point for me sciatic pain i couldn't handle it. i could handle back pain but not sciatic pain um currently me with uh sciatic pain i'm a lot better guys if anything, you know, like if, let's say the 30 days out of the month, I'll have sciatic pain twice. But as a, you know, it's getting cold now. I live here in Denver, Colorado, so the days do get pretty cold. I did notice uh, an effect on my nerve where it's stiff and it does start like, it's not sciatic pain, but there's something there that just, I don't feel free. So I did want to give you guys that uh, update. So if you're in a similar situation with me, I guess do try to stay in warm weather. I did do a lot of foundation training. As you guys know, I preach a lot about it. So um, probably pop another picture right here. And what foundation training is, it's pretty much core, uh, strengthening your core, but not like your core exactly here within your abs but throughout your whole spine that is what your core is you know it includes your hamstrings your glutes all of your little muscles uh, within the spine working together and decompressing your spine in a natural form I have done a lot of that lately as of lately I haven't done it as much which I should be and that could probably be helping me in these cold days 
And um, in terms of fun, guys, I can do whatever I want. I don't. I live here in Denver, so you guys might be like, oh, this guy might snowboard. No, I don't snowboard because I don't want to risk it. Um, I tried playing soccer a couple times, and in the moment, it felt fine, but the next day, I was just irritated, and I just don't like that feeling. So, I don't want to go back there again um, because I just hate the feeling of having irritation within that spot where, you know, my back was pretty much kind of destroyed. So, I'm... Staying away for soccer still, so like a year and a half out the surgery, I'm still staying away from it. But I can weightlift, with the, which is a huge plus, guys. Movements that do really bother me is uh, anything that's bending down really bothers me the next day. And leg press in a vertical position, vertical, yeah, in a vertical position. So if anything, if you guys have leg press where you guys can stick horizontal, I would stick to that. I do not barbell squat, guys, at all. So that's kind of the update, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment or anything, anything I can help with. I'll be uploading more of this journey. And uh, if you guys would like to see like videos about like. What you should look for in a gym when you have lower back problems, what exercises you should do after your surgery, or is there any exercise you would try to do to prevent that surgery? Just let me know, guys. I'll try to upload videos like that, but I'm super excited about what's to come, guys. It's my first bodybuilding show, and especially it's really motivating just because I had that spine surgery, so I kind of have a story to it. And a lot of people just discounted me for fitness, which, uh, Kind of sucked. I, I started to believe in myself, but I'm just super excited, guys, and I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel, guys. I'm going to try to grow this channel, so I'm just super excited about it. And hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.